Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and it's After Dark today. Let's put up the virtual sign. After Dark sign? Yeah, I have a virtual one here. There it is. Ooh, fancy. There it is. Uh, <laughs> After Dark is where we play games that we want to get patches for or high scores, and the cats are excited. <laughs> Um, they know it's coming. They're like treats. Is hi. it treat time yet? Treats? Well, we try to play to the end of the game yep. if it has levels and an ending. But today we're going to be playing Raiding Rivers. Yes. Not to be confused with River Raid. Well, you can be confused with River Raid because it's a <laughs> port of it. Uh, it's for the Jaguar. And uh, there is a homebrew patch being offered for it. Okay, okay. Which is pretty rare. There's not many homebrew patches, Atari homebrew mm. patches. I have a, a list that I keep of them, and it's like about 15. Okay, okay. So it is a rarity. So we're in for a treat today. Um, we did play this game a couple weeks back when it was released. Mm -hmm. So at that point, we had the high scores, mm -hmm. but not anymore. So we have to up our game and get some better scores. And the competition is fierce. So we will take a look at that right after we thank the Twitch subscribers. Ooh. You want to do it, Atari? Here's the list. No, he's not okay, reading down, it out. Okay. Al Nefer, Andrew Atari, Arkham Age, <laughs> Arms Guard Coder, Atari Dunder, Dexel Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari's Maxima, Beef Supreme, Bear Polka, Bruno Stex, Kefman, 2D Charleston, Mount Charles, Will and Chitla, Cole Patch, Crazy Curtis, Cyrano Reboot, who made the game. Excellent. Dino, Dan of C, uh, Devil Adonna, DJ Lemon Fresh, uh, Drexal, Dr. Mook, Kaz, Gamma Dev, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Heraldo Ju, uh, Johnny W. Sue, Kavito, Kenzo, Carl G, Karakak, Krako 2600, Kvelt, Free Lambda Express, Lauren Kraken, Mark Johannes, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Michael Thomas, Command, MK Swift, Mother, Mr. Zonamu, Mr. Fix, Nathan, Strom, Neo, Meaning, Nostalgic Pack, Rack, Koag, Arant, Schwartz, RC70, Render, Ghost, Apprentice, VG, Reverend, Tully, Rod, Castler, Smitty V, Spice, Ferris, uh, Ramirez, Spinley, The D Train, Tiki Down, K Team Events, Trek, MD, Vex, Rex, VVG, Double Down, and X Ken X. Thank you so much for supporting us, and you can too, just like Kabuto Kenzo did Yay! just before we started this stream. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hello, Nostalgic and Thrust and Dan in the chat. Thank you for joining on this Sunday afternoon or yes. whatever time it happens to be where you are. Yeah, Sunday evening, maybe, maybe Monday, depending yeah, where you depending. are. Depending. It's possible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do have a poll question mm. for After Dark, which is uh, a rarity, actually. But um, I thought it up and it was uh, applicable to today. Cats, calm down. Calm up. Come. Uh, do you have any Activision patches? Nice. Um, the answers are one, yes, earned one directly from Activision. Ooh. Now you'd have to get that Impressive. in the 80s. In the 80s, that does. That's hard. <laughs> that does say something about your age. <laughs> it does, still. yes. Uh, uh, number two, yes, earned them and then bought them aftermarket, mm. which would be applicable for me. I have bought some legitimate aftermarket patches. But you've earned them. You've actually, reached actually the earned the goals them. That, yeah. that supposedly you needed to reach. Yes. Um, okay. Number three, yes, bought them aftermarket, but haven't earned them. You have to earn them. <laughs> but I do have some that I haven't earned, I think, mm. that I have patches for, and I still need to earn. So there I'm, you go. I'm naughty. But I, I'm a mix of two and three, mostly two. Uh, <laughs> number four, no, I haven't earned them and don't own any. Uh, I have earned them, but don't own any. So you've got That's four. The, you've got the scores, yeah. but you don't have any patches. And five, <laughs> no, I haven't earned any. I don't have any. So there you go. There you go. I like RC70, possibly four, and I don't <laughs> know it. If you're not tracking, then how would you know, right? That's, that's true. That's kind of hard, too. That's true. So I uh, would fall under number two, mostly. Yeah. Because I think I have... But you've never actually earned them back in the day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I wasn't that good back in the day, and um, I didn't have a 2600. There you go. And I definitely did not write to Activision with a photo of a CRT. <laughs> um, so let's get into the game. Excellent. Um, so let's take a look, actually, before we get into the game, the look at the patch information. Ooh. Um, so this is being offered by nice. Machine. Nice. Um, and he says, Reboot, well, that's kind of small for everyone. I always forget that. Reboot was kind enough to release a free game called Raiding Rivers. Let's celebrate this free release with a contest. 
post a screenshot of your high score in this thread. The contest will run until midnight, yeah. Friday, January 20th. All right, you so only have a few days left on that one. Yeah, just under a week left. And winners, winners, mm -hmm. will get a River Raid patch. Now, he did not define what winners means. I'm, I'm guessing at least the top score. Number one score well, get it. it. It might be that he has twenty and the top twenty get it. We don't know. Didn't we don't define know. it, but that's okay. He hasn't offered this information and nobody yeah. has asked him. Is either. it it says winners, not winners, so presumably yeah. more than one person will get patched. So. Yeah, and Machine yeah. has made a lot of aftermarket patches mm. for Activision games that never got patches made for them. Because at some point they stopped making patches. Okay. And they're like, yeah, just buy our games. Hmm. We're not giving out patches anymore. <laughs> We're trying to save money. Uh, hey, Retro Gamer, 1975. Oh, and on a watch street. Yeah, somebody the other day said, I missed a show. That is lying. But hey, you get bonus bits, bonus channel points for it. So I don't know what that go. means. Yeah. More to score on the, more to uh, <laughs> bet on the cats with. That's How about right. That? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so there's been a bunch of scores submitted. There's our scores, 81,000 for me, 50,000 for Tanya. Mm. So we got to beat those. I, I can, I can do better than that. I'm yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. Then, uh, then they just destroyed our scores. Uh, mm -hmm. make a G 162,000. Uh, you hate it with 149,000. Nice. And this is the one to beat. Oh my, um, 1,136,000? <laughs> yeah, so that's wow. that's what we're aiming for today. Uh, 1,136,000. Okay. Uh, well, okay, we'll one see. One point more than that. One, one. point more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's all there is right now yeah. uh, for scores. We have to see Fair what enough. we can do and oh. what scores will be coming mm -hmm. as well. Uh, raid 2-2. Two, two, Three? What? <laughs> this is uh, ra Raiding Rivers, not Raid 223. Um, so let me just, actually, I didn't do the cartridge graphic. and I didn't change that over. One second. Let me get the graphics for that. Game covers. Jaguar. Raiding Rivers. There it is. Hooray. Okay. It's time to jump into the game. Uh, I've already got it loaded. Oh, that's not the right graphic. I loaded it. Oh, no, the person with a million plus score reached Raid 223. Oh. Uh, I missed that because oh, you, you, sc you scrolled away. Okay. Let's... Yeah, that's a lot. So I made, I made Raid to 17. 17. <laughs> I made Raid 10. Okay, uh, that's what it is. Oh, 223. Wow. And it's in four digits. So technically you <laughs> could hit, hit Raid 1,000. That's that's crazy. Cyrano is... Um... Wow. Supposing, and yeah. somebody made it to 200, so I don't think it's out of the... Everything's shocking me today. Well, Ah, so dry. Oh, can I have a sip? Mm -hmm. What is this? Peach. It's Yum. peach. Sorry, there's a little bit of lipstick on there. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No? Shiny okay. red lips, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let you play first. Mm. It is chilly in here today, too. Yeah, it cats. is cold. Run it around, is cold. Cats. Warm it up, cats. Yeah. Oh. It is cold here. I might need my sweater. It's in the um, other room. I'll grab it if I need it. So last month in Vancouver. I usually need a sweater here. No. no. Last month in Vancouver, we had record temperatures, high temperatures for yeah. December. It was so super warm. And January, we have record low <laughs> temperatures for well, January. It, it went down to what? Minus 12? 13. Minus 13. Was that with or without wind chill? Without. Without wind chill. That's very cold for Vancouver. Exceptionally We might cold. dip slightly below zero, and then there might be a little Maybe wind chill on top of that, five. but actually double digit negative numbers. Unprecedented. Really, really unusual. Yeah. So the last couple of days have been very cold, very cold, and yeah. our dishwasher isn't working because of some frozen water lines. So and our hot water and our hot water upstairs, downstairs is fine. So you know we're not. Uh, yeah. We can shower, you know. Just, yeah. That's <laughs> but it's important. kind of brutal because houses here aren't built for those kinds of just temperatures. Just resetting the video camera and everything. Just Are you? One second. Okay. Can I still talk or oh, yeah, is yeah, it yeah. okay? Yeah, good. The, <laughs> this is not this is not cut out, thank you. Okay, good, 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 and good. And I'm gonna reset the game as well, just oh, geez. in case. Some case. troubles? No, no, just preempting troubles. Preempting troubles, okay. Yeah. Well, you should see there we go. Atari back above my uh, right shoulder here. Are you ready? Yeah. He's ready to play. You ready to play? He's he wants to put a score <laughs> and he wants a patch. <laughs> okay. You want a patch? He oh, wants some treats. Patch I think of that's treats, what he wants. Please. <laughs> Can uh, I earn treats by playing games? 
Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Can you beat that? Yeah, he's listening for words. <laughs> he is. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right. Uh, I'm going to watch the score and see what gives you... Uh, oh, oh. We have uh, I've already forgotten. Just shooting, right? Audio. What's wrong with the audio? Shooting. Oh, there's audio. Yep. Refueling and then shooting things and don't crash into walls. Shoot the bridges. Oh, oh, yeah, you can speed up. You can speed up. Um, I think the fuel goes down at the same speed no matter if you're going fast or slow. So if you're running out of fuel, you might want to speed up to get to the next fuel. Um, so you get points for just moving. So that's one thing. Oh, boy. And your points go up faster when you move faster, but that's not necessarily... That just makes the game go faster it doesn't increase the score as far as I can tell. Oh, now it's winter. So they're apparently having a January just like us. Yeah. Let's see if I can figure out scores. So you get scores for fuel. Quite, quite a decent amount, I think. And 100 points for that. 100 points for that. 100 points for that. 100 points for just about everything Ooh. it looks like. I, I do find the jump for it is super duper fast. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Now you have to shoot the bridges, so I'm yeah. not going to count those for points because you're just going to die if you don't hit those. You do get two lives. I don't know if you get extra lives in this or not. So it would be a good idea to hold over the fuel, but you get 100 points for shooting the fuel properly, probably. And in the original River Raid, what I always did was go over the fuel and shoot at the last second. But that might be hard because they're not as big relative to your plane in this game. Oh, nostalgic. Yeah, that is cold. Minus 28C. That is cold. Yeah. So I was watching on the news last night. Okay. Um, one of our provinces in Canada, Saskatchewan, in the middle, in the prairies, in the... open area. Um, what happened? You hit something, apparently. Oh, you ran out of fuel, probably. Did I? Well, oh, I was just hitting fuel, though. I don't know. Did I? Whoa, oh, maybe I hit a... Maybe there was a shot that I missed. Oh, it could have been, yeah. Oh. That's very quiet, Keith. Or something. Something exploded something and killed me? Something killed me. Let me just adjust the volumes here. Oh, I bet it was a shot from the other side. That's what oh. it was. Oh. Um, they went... Ah, oh, I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. They went down to minus 60 with wind chill. Oh, that's Celsius. awful. Around that temperature, it doesn't matter if you're Fahrenheit or Celsius, but it's that it was crazy. Cold. They were minus 40 without it, which was bad enough, but yeah. Oh, don't do right that. I know, because I'm trying to hit it. I'm trying to get more score. 51, 8, I, 8, 10. 6. It's exactly what I got last time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was it? Let's see. It was like 50 something. <laughs> It wasn't that much better. Oh, you beat it. You beat your Yeah, but that's that's. that's pretty good I want to do better game. than raid ten. I can make it further. Getting a little sloppy. Sloppy. Sloppy running into things. It's not that hard to dodge things, but you kind of want points. Hey, ah, I can't shoot them. Yeah, I should speed up. Uh, I'm just like oh, no. nervous about speeding up. Ah, right into it. Rage reset. I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did hit the Oh, wall. thank you, RC70. That's very helpful. Don't don't count that score. Atari's just jealous. Sprite has a plushie that gets to sit behind you while show. You know uh, what, RC70? I I think Totoro is is um the plushie yeah. that represents Atari. Because we've got the soot sprite. Obviously, that's sprite. Obviously. Yes. But then this really does represent Atari. So they kind of each have their own plushie. represents them very well. Yeah, it does. I he is like a Totoro. Tanks. With that, he's got a beige huh. belly. Oh, I mean, Totoro's belly's nice. white, but... Oh, there's so much fuel on that side. That's okay. You're doing okay. Yeah, I guess you could try to hit as much as you can. It's dangerous sometimes, though. Oh, you can't... I, I wonder if you can hit everything. I, <gasps> I'm I turning out of fuel. Of... So dumb. There it is. You can shoot everything, but I would not recommend shooting the fuel. Fuel is very precious in this game. 
yeah. as opposed to the original river raid. I think we noticed that last time. It was like fuel yeah. goes down quick. But it goes down very version. quickly. Hi. You pretty much have to get all the fuel you can see. Here's the second cat. Meow. Here to, to make his case for why he deserves more treats. <laughs> I deserve more treats than Atari because I am cuter. RC70 says, I didn't even notice that when it blends in with the wall. Yeah, the wall's gray, the Totoro's gray. He's a little hard to see. But they both sit next to each other. We also have the lovely um, Invincibility Star from Mario. Yeah. And then there's a sure we're gonna be... dinosaur that someone gave us re related to a game they made. Oh, who has yes. a pumpkin, pumpkin in eater. his mouth. The pumpkin eater game. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a big robot right dinosaur. Right that eats pumpkins on a pumpkin patch. On a pumpkin patch. He's really cute too. Gobert's Farm. Gobert's Farm. Gobert? Oh. Uh, so it was really nice. They sent us the plushie to go along with the game. So with their, uh, got a few things. And then of course we've got Bernie just, just tucked in at the top here. So gotta have some plushies. <laughs> some background plush. Oh, our, was it RC70 that recommended us to watch Station Eleven? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, well, we watched episode two. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'll let you give your review first of episode two. I liked episode two. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, James, James is still a little I critical of it. I liked episode two much less than really? episode one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, uh... I like where it's going. It, again, there's a lot still hidden in this story, because um, they're really they're really building it up. Mm, that's one word for it. <laughs> James. Ah, <laughs> uh, so uh, critical. So if I watched episode two on its own, without episode one, I'd be like, "What am I? What am I watching?" <laughs> what, what are we watching here? It is uh, uh, not a thing I would watch voluntarily. Well, it's 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 it's, it's the whole traveling it's the troop. Shakespeare episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like uh, okay, <laughs> uh, but you know, the writers uh, uh, or director or producer, whoever was in charge of the story, mostly um, went. Uh, we better uh, put some uh, post-apocalyptic stuff in here, or people are going to tune out. They're like. A flash, a flash of post-apocalyptic stuff. Otherwise, it's it's the Shakespeare episode, and it's like, why am I? What am I watching? This is not what I signed up for. It, like, they're not having any trouble whatsoever in post-apocalyptic land. I'm sure it's gonna change. Sure, it's 20 years later. Sure, but <laughs> you have no patience. <laughs> and where? Uh, okay, where are the ham operators? Did <laughs> all he was talking about the there's, whole episode there's this there's this character in the episode going you can talk to people worldwide on the phone on the, who's and, explaining and how can phones hear work you it's yeah like ham operators you need a uh, 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 <laughs> some sort of power which is um uh, solar panels would some of them would operate after 20 years and that's all you need to operate your ham radio uh, so What's happening? <laughs> why doesn't? Why is she so uneducated about a uh, wireless communication? Well, it was a girl who was who was asking her to talk about what a phone was. Yeah, and sure, like she a smartphone, born, which is fine. She was born after. Yeah. Yeah, after the. Or was too young, too young to know what it was. So. Yeah, or born during. Yeah. yeah. So I. Uh, <laughs> it's it's technical things that are really irking me. Um, and and the the story. It's like okay, twenty years later, maybe there's enough infrastructure built up again that um, it can the world can support traveling entertainers <laughs> without them having to you know have a base camp and and forage for food or. To well, they do forage food. for food, obviously, but. Well, I don't know. They didn't talk about food at all or any troubles that they had in the world. Well, because that's what you like when you want a post-apocalyptic yeah. show is you want to hear about that's that stuff. That's what makes a post-apocalyptic well, movie. Otherwise, it's hey. That's it's, what you're interested. It's, it's people in a <laughs> stress situation. No, yeah. like in this one, it's people not having any stress in their lives whatsoever. They're doing well. No, I wouldn't say that's true, but. No, there's. One nope. person out of the troop is worried 
about anything. The rest are like, hey, stranger, how's it going? <laughs> and she's the only one who has any concerns about any kind of danger. I think I think it's still early days. If this were a whole film, then you would have that more fleshed out, but because they have multiple episodes. Oh my, my fuel is so bad. It goes down really quick. You really have to target I'm the fuel. I'm trying to get every fuel possible. Yeah, RC-70, it's not really a post-apocalyptic show. I, and you get that feeling. Like, it's not that the whole world has completely fallen apart well it it seems that way but it also <laughs> doesn't seem that way like they they're living off the land like why are these people in all the billions of abandoned houses all over the world it, it uh in the stats it killed 99 percent of people there's lots of houses out there that they can you know take refuge in and why okay why the hell are they pulling vehicles instead of wagons <laughs> there's less hey, i i can come up with an answer for that okay. although james didn't like it <laughs> but i said i think if if there's the possibility of coming across diesel or fuel then you will want to have a vehicle so that kind of makes sense why you would pull a vehicle and then if you actually find the fuel you can use it that. But no, but that makes sense to me. We'll see. And they we'll see have wheels. Happens. I like... will give it one more episode because RC70 <laughs> insisted you have to watch it. I don't know if it was RC70, but uh, was it? Someone, yeah. Oh, I need that Anyway. Film. Oh my God. Anyway, that's my <laughs> rant. I'm very picky about. Post-apocalyptic shows? Yeah. I wonder why that is. It's because I love them. I know. I want them to be good. And I you want helped to make some, so I understand yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've done a post-apocalyptic short film. <laughs> That well, and all awards, of tales, mind you. and all of tales of the after now, right? Tales from so, the after now, yeah. yeah. The audio, audio uh, radio play, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? This is a marathon game. It is a marathon game. Oh, oh there's way more rare. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> oh that's oh, good. Oh, that's so. Much oh, better. that's so good. <laughs> because it doesn't seem to get any harder. No, it's it's they're not. I don't think there's more on the screen or anything like that, or anything's faster, but oh, they change up. Um, I can see how this does. is a marathon. G I can see how this is a bit of a marathon game. Yeah. Now I can see why he got a million points. He gave up. <laughs> Maybe. It was me, says RC70. Don't oh, listen to James. Damn don't it. listen I to him. Have... Too, you were too aggressive. Too, too aggressive. aggressive. Yeah. And trying to shoot them rather than save yourself. Yep, I was. I'm enjoying it RC70, but I, I I have some of the same, you know, Reservation. reservations, but um nope. but I I do like the characters and I I I get sucked into what the is the is better. what is the mystery of the show, which is the the adult girl, how she managed to survive and end up where she is because oh, there's tease, a story there. They'll tease that out in 5 second increments like they've been doing, well, I'm sure. Yeah, but that's fine. That to <laughs> me is sort of the purpose of the series is like, is is more her gosh. her journey and her story which they're not going to give away immediately. So that's going to come out oh, slowly. That's all they've got going for them. Lots of little mystery <laughs> things in there. I like it. Now uh, I am really, really hoping that Furiosa is going to be good. Oh, yeah. I have not watched the trailer. Don't tell me anything about that new trailer I that came out. I haven't looked at the trailer. Yep. No, nope, well, I haven't either. Nobody in the To the right, to the right you need, you need oh, I was fuel. Fuel. You oh, need I fuel. do need fuel. More fuel. <laughs> I think you just go from fuel to fuel, really. That's this game, but you gotta you do get points for fuel, that's yeah. true. Not not as much as shooting. Not as fast as shooting anyway. Is there, is there... Ooh, oh. And if you go at this speed, I find that the bullets never hit you. No. Unless you're very, very to the side of the screen and you're kind of following the bullet. Ooh, I need fuel. So bad. See, look, they shoot way ahead of you. Yeah, the fuel is definitely a problem. No, they, they, the, the bullets never. Ah, no! You got a little bit. You got a little okay, bit. You're pretty, pretty full pretty anyway. Good. Okay, that's good. Sorry, this is not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 kind of uh, relaxing. Yeah, it's good. It is the music is appropriate for the speed of the game. And I'm not going to go fast because I don't think that's going to be good for me. I can barely make 
take it over to this side yeah. from the other side. Oh, does this have the option to let you guide your bullets after firing? No, no. I, it's pretty... Um, I'll, I'll try it again. A, pretty much a straight shot. No, it's straight. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I'd be cleaning up. Does uh, the original uh, River Aid have that? Do you I, guide your bullets? Oh, I can't remember. I don't... I, I can't remember. No. It's been a little while since I played it. And some, some things are like... I. You don't remember that kind of stuff sometimes, but some games do, some games games don't, and you just don't notice because well, rules go out of the window with video games sometimes. You're gonna need fuel very quickly, I think. Well, there you go. There we go. It always seems to have enough fuel. Yeah, but you have but to kind of be on the right enough. side. You ha you do have to divert over yeah. to where the fuel is. And sometimes there's one on one side and four on the other. Yeah, and you're like, ah, I wanted four. <laughs> so now I'm above the low scores and now there's just the million above me now thank goodness yay full fuel top it up just top up the tank please um we also watched what did we watch tv shows yeah movies? it was, it was oh you watched a punk documentary that's right a punk documentary about the uh scene in san francisco east bay east bay san francisco punk scene yeah from the 70s right through for like 30 years late 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 70s yeah um right through to like early 90s yeah um it was really good uh, i would say a long, really good okay yeah it was it was, it was long it was, quite good. It, oh. it was very much trying to document the evolution of the bands and the different styles and how the bands all the bands that came out of that scene yeah Popular for that reason it was almost three hours like it was quite long wasn't it uh yes um and that was the only downside to it was it was quite a long documentary but yeah. if it's if it's a subject you're interested in it was very yeah, very thorough it was very good yeah i i was fine with the with the length yeah uh, produced by green day and billy joe was in it quite yeah. a bit and talked a lot about his oh it's okay um his background and his, his background other, and where yeah, he grew up the and other bands how he was in green day started and the other bands in that scene which were very famous punk bands and yeah. i i didn't didn't know that much about san francisco and punk so that was no, really kind of did i only knew that um dead kennedys were from there that's about it yeah <laughs> that's all i knew um I didn't know that, um, yeah, Green Day s started there. Grew up and, there. And Operation, grew up in East Operation Bay. Ivy yeah. was from there. Yeah. Um, also, um, damn it, what's that other band's name? Rancid. Rancid, also, that's also it. I almost there. said Fugazi, and I'm like, no. Fugazi, no. Uh, people uh, from Fugazi were in the documentary. Yeah. Um, but I don't. But I always think of Rancid and Fugazi. They, the both of those names, <laughs> are the similar. I, they're so similar. I don't know why, but I, I mean, they were around at the same time, weren't they? Rancid and Fugazi. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 Like '90s punk bands. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It, it was very thorough. Very thorough. <laughs> very thorough, and concentrated on specifically one um, punk venue that was very supportive it was like all ages and um didn't tolerate any crap from anyone yeah. <laughs> it's like we're gonna be peaceful and this is gonna be a nice place to hang out and oh god oh I knew it. no zero lives left I knew it. um it. sometimes you, yeah that's that's what gets you is you get that stuck in me. a corner didn't see that coming um Yeah, so if you're into punk, I would definitely recommend it. If you're into music, I'd give it a, a thumbs up. Um, if you're into documentaries, it, it might be a bit slow for you. Um, or if you're not into documentaries, I don't, I don't know. It, it might be a, a <laughs> tough a tough watch if yeah. you're not into documentaries. It's too. a very niche yeah. uh, documentary, but, but it was good. Very I, thorough. Yeah, it was yeah. very thorough. And I find documentaries about music and sports and wrestling um specifically wrestling not to not too mm. much sports music and sport uh wrestling documentaries are like absolutely fascinating yeah because there's so much happening yeah in those scenes and there's lots of 
great music and visuals for both. And um, Nostalgic was saying that they thought it was a difficulty switch setting for the targeting oh, bullets. That, yeah, That's that possible. could be. RC seventy says, "What's it called?" Uh, it didn't have a very appropriate name, so I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look. It, it was up. like turn it around or turn it up or like something that is not memorable. Like it had nothing to do with punk that I could figure out. I I don't know how the name of the the movie how they chose it. Yeah. To anything in the movie. Um, but if you look up like San Francisco Bay, East Bay punk. punk documentary. And it's 2017 is the year. We'd have to look it up. <laughs> yeah. It was something like what's, not what's up, but it was, it was, yeah, it was sort of an inane I, term. Yeah. They really should have picked something else. Yeah. Shot that name around a bit better. <laughs> 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 the name is so important to a movie. Because sometimes that's all people will see about your movie. Well, it'll it, it 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 triggers the recall of you know what other whatever else they've seen about it. So. Yeah, and if it speaks to like oh that. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it's it like, around. Okay. Yeah, that what makes they, sense. What are they? Me. What are they turning around? I don't know. I don't know. Turn maybe politically, like politically, turn it around. I don't know. It maybe, wasn't. Maybe it was only barely political. Well, no, they talked about how some some bands had political bands. Sure. Some were more hardcore. And... It wasn't a really a focus per se. It was it was tangential. Yeah. It was more about community and support of the music and the community sporting the music and yeah it's very positive super super positive and you get to see a, a ton of old photos and footage of uh early 80s punk yeah which is super cool yeah um, they had a lot of um videos of people with like yeah. you know Surprising guys talking about somewhere. having having punk shows in their literally in their in their garages Backyard. and like yeah. these ho what looked like horrible vhs uh, footage of <laughs> oh, kids VHS. kids in punk bands and some guys some guys um garage like, like distorted audio sometimes it's great and, <laughs> it's yeah it great. was awesome i love that stuff because i but i've got a bunch of vhs tapes of old punk shows and stuff like that as well yeah. that i've collected that i've that i'm dumping to digital that i'll post on YouTube at some point. Oh, that's good to do. Yeah. yeah. Because people are always interested in I'll bands. search and see if anybody's posted them before, of course. But, yeah. Um, you don't want them lost to time. No. Because right? VHS runs out. Maybe those are the only copies that were ever made. It'll probably trigger someone's nostalgia too. They'll oh. be like, I, rem I was at that event. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Well, you said you were quite impressed with the fact that... Um, no means no, which is a um, punk band from Vancouver Island, a Canadian punk yeah. ga punk band, was mentioned multiple times. Multiple times, people wearing shirts of them. No means no shirts, and <laughs> well, they are incredible. Yeah, they're like bands look up to them because they're so 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 talented. Yeah, like their playing is astronomical. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you got a little bit there. You kind of do have to look ahead in this game. And make sure you choose the right path. Like, I'm not going to the left, but oh, I'm going to die. you're going to die. Out oh, there. Oh, just in time. You need more, though. Uh, I need you can to get do those. It. You can do it. Yeah, oh. every little bit counts. Oh, get him. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Raid 70. Okay. That was good. 361. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Three, I'm gonna six. rest with that one. I think because this game takes forever. Yeah, cat butt. I know, I know. Or maybe I'll do one more. Okay, I'll, I'll do. First. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to get past ten. <laughs> Turn it around. I think that was your first guess. Really? Yeah. Was it my first guess? Okay, it was a very strange name. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the light gun show. Or not the light gun show. The four, four, the four player. player light gun. Um, so I, I put in an order for parts to make more yeah. of my uh, janky uh, self-made adapters. And the right part so I, the trigger is the proper way around. And I also um, ordered some shrink tubing 
as shrink well. Shrink tubing. Oh, so that you can... So I can put it like right big, around this? Big and, shrink tubing? Yeah, I didn't have big enough already. So I just ordered a, a you know, one that's about that long and I can cut it up and make these. Um, and I'll redo this one to make it shorter too because I use very lengthy pieces of wire for this one. Thank you, Nostalgic. It was pretty good score. I did make some, some rookie mistakes. My first death was bad. Um, my second death, that was a hard one to avoid. Sometimes it is. I wasn't looking is. ahead far enough. You have to really look ahead and stay in the middle when nothing is happening. So I ordered enough to do, uh, I think at least three of these, because I have three uh, guns that I need to adapt. And I got better ends, because the, these, the ends that I have here are just screw-in ends for the, um, for the wires. And the ones I ordered are for soldering onto, so they'll be more permanent. These keep falling out. This is more for like making things, like testing things out, so you can unscrew them, take out wires, and put in different wires. Ooh, nice, very smart. Shoot the bridge, then get the fuel. Well, just worked out that way. Oh, so much fuel. Oh, more than you need. Shoot them. Shoot them. You're full. Am I? Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I'm more yeah. scared about not losing. As you should be. That is the number one concern of this game. Is fuel. Is fuel. It's all fuel management. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's the fuel management game. It is. Oh, it's uh, cold. Kitten, close the door. Yeah. What are you doing? Um... So I'll be picking those parts up on Monday. Oh, oh, just caught the tip of it. Oh man. The hitbox was rather large. Yeah, so it you is. you have to be very careful. You do careful. have to be careful. Uh, because you didn't physically touch that bullet. Oh, oh my goodness. Careful, careful. Oh, oh this no. is tough. You can do it. Thread that needle. Thread it. Um, yeah, so I'll be picking up the parts on Monday and... To make more. I'll, I'll probably make them on Monday night. They're really not hard to do. Because there's like one wire, the ground wire just goes from ground to ground. And one wire goes, I think, for t from one pin to a different pin. And then there's uh, one resistor that goes across two wires. And one transistor that, of course, hooks up three wires. Um... And it's it's super super easy to do, so I'll make all those just in a factory way. It's like make them all the same. Make it make it really easy. Then shrink the test it out. Make sure it works properly. And it's not backwards. <laughs> and um, and then we'll uh, play ducks away at some point again. Yeah, with the four, so they're all working properly. We both have two guns. Yeah, we can do that, or yeah. or find a day when we can do it again. Well, with I'd, four. I'd want to do it pretty quick. I mean, we'll try it out. With, yeah, with, but yeah. But, but we can play it again when we have four people. Yeah. Over again. Yeah. This is definitely kind of a mellow very, game. It's very zen. You all just right. and the music too. There's something so zen about the music. Did I shock you? Oh, I know. Soon, soon. As soon as Tanya's done this game, we'll do a treat. Maybe somebody will trigger treat time for you after she's done the, her game. Hmm? She's down to one life. Just beating her score. Well, technically it's two because you go down to zero, so. Oh, true. That is true. She's only lost one life so far. I don't even want to mention lives because that, <laughs> if anything, immediately ends in your death it's when you mention you're doing so oh good. god i hate when people say that i'm like thanks oh my god you're killing it in this game and then you... there you go yeah see did on purpose. <laughs> i didn't do it on Proof purpose i promise you <laughs> <laughs> it's just what happens it's the distraction the anxiety it's like ah anxiety. <laughs> no don't say that this does have auto fire but it's kind of dangerous to it use is it dangerous because you don't know what's coming up on the screen or where it is yeah, you don't want to accidentally and, uh, shoot something you want, like, you know. Yeah. You... Oh, didn't go to the right. Uh, well, you were full, so that's fine. I did. I was full and I also... Danger. Yeah. Fell oh, up. good jump, kitten. <laughs> oh, kittens. Oh, oh, oh I didn't what? Mean to do that. Oh, you went to the okay. wrong side. Oh, no. Uh, hopefully there's Still have half. Come on. I know how it doles out fuel, but it's... It's... 
It's just enough. Not bad. Yeah, you're over half now. RC70, Turn It Around is a punk rock compilation album. Oh, no. that's where it got the name from. So it means something in the punk scene and to Because the they did talk making. about the album, I think. That's where it's from. Yeah, right at the end, they talked about the album. And I was not aware of the album, so it makes... It probably means a lot to people who are really into Well, and who those listened. Bands. I ran into this side. Made it over 100. That's not terrible. That was double my last Originally story. released as two seven-inch records. Yeah, it was near the end oh. of the movie. In October 1987, it served as a benefit uh, to raise money for Berkeley, California mm -hmm. DIY punk scene known as the, the Gilman, Gilman Street, Street Project. Project. And that's uh, the punk uh, venue that they concentrated on. Gilman Street, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. And it seemed like a very cool venue that... You yeah, know, I would go to. <laughs> yeah, they could have called it the Gilman Street Project, but anyway. <laughs> that oh, that's I don't a know. Good name I don't know if I, any of them are great. Yeah, that's not a great name. But that makes sense. So for people who knew the rock punk rock compilation, turn it around. Then 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 the title of the the um, documentary makes more sense. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was not aware of. Oh yes, yum, that's yum, right. Yum. Sorry. Here. Yum, yum, yum. We're not doing it. <laughs> you just restarted. Yay! Thank you, Nostalgic! Thank you. Kittens, can you vacate the area? Oh, Kitten butt. I think we might need more treats. Oh, we do have more treats. Oh, there's like, yeah, we definitely need more treats. Want to run up yeah. while I get I'll everything it. ready? Get it ready. Thank you, Nostalgic! Thank you for triggering it. Yeah, there's like five and some bits left in this one. Oh, video game's still going. Just gonna mute that. I'm gonna mute it here so I remember as well. Okay, let's get the betting set up. So everybody place your bets on which cat. They're both out of the room because they're like, oh, we're gonna go get the treats. The big the big the the, the human is getting treats. The kittens are in treat time just by being cute. That's right. So the bets are started. Uh, if you want to place your bets on which cat and by how much. And uh, we'll see if uh, everybody's going to cover all the different uh, different bets. Because this is an impromptu stream and we don't have as many people as we usually do. See if I can get the cats down here. Oh, there we go. There's one cat. <laughs> He's torn between the bells and the actual treats. We've got 66% of the bets on Sprite, one and two. 34% of the bets on Atari, one and two. Ah. Coming in. Got about a minute left. Sprite. Sprite. Bells are, no. It's all in here, silly cat. They ran out the door. <laughs> it's so funny. They're very silly. They are very silly. Meow, oh. meow. <laughs> You can just dump. Oh, they are in treat time just by being cute. They, puss and bats. Yes. Puss and bats. Time for puss and bats. Stinky. Ugh. So stinky. We've got 45 seconds left. All right. All Not right. Not everything's covered. We might find mm. out what happens. Mm. Or people might be waiting to mm. throw in their 10. Because if somebody throws in 10 too early... Somebody could throw yeah. in a thousand and be like, well, the first bet betting 10 gets absolutely nothing at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Got about 30 seconds left or 15 seconds left. Yes, yes, calm. They seem to be very raring. Oh, somebody made a huge bet on Atari 1 and 2 all of a sudden. Oh, they're thinking you're going to get it, Atari. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, a little bit, a little bit on Sprite right at the end there. Excellent. Nothing on Atari 3 Plus. Well, okay. granted, that's probably not going to happen. Okay. Are you ready, cats? All right, I gotta get. Let me get my treats Are ready. You ready. Is everyone ready? Everyone in the chat, ready to go? <laughs> ready to, to bat that bat that bell along with the kitties? This is what you do. Remember? Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's like, I know. Put it down. Okay. Back it off in your corners. Go. And oh, sprite. Off. Oh, oh it's... thief. That is not in your favor by doing that, Atari. No, it's not. Oh, there's another one for sprite. There another we go. One for sprite. Oh, Atari thief. Oh, that's not a good start, Hit the Atari. No. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Oh, oh, Sprite gets number three. Atari, hit the bell. Hit the bell. 
There, there you we go. go. No, now he's lost it. <laughs> they're both oh, struggling. They're just... They're batting it out into the corner. And Sprite's back with number, number four. four. Oh, 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 Sprite early S lead. Sprite's on a three plus. That... Oh, oh, Atari, good. That was a good bell hit. Person with the three plus. Might, oh, Sprite. It's a ten point bet. Might get yeah. it all. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite again. Ag oh, and Atari <gasps> stole it again. <laughs> Thief. <laughs> oh, Atari. <laughs> That's not You got to work for your own treats. There we go. Another one for Sprite. Oh, <laughs> bring your own bell. Atari. Come on. You know what to do. Don't just keep stealing. Oh, Sprite nope. again. It's not yours. He's got eight Hit to the two. Bell, buddy. This is the most devastating Sprite! Oh, oh my goodness. It's nine to two. Atari, hit Atari. the bell. Atari. He's concentrating on thief thieving today. Yeah, he is. He's nine a to thief three. Cat. <laughs> oh, oh, it's game over. Point. What a see, Atari, you did a Terrible. Terrible. You're not. Cheaters to che don't prosper. He's like, yeah, they do. I got, yeah, I got, I got two lots extra of treats. <laughs> I, oh, I prospered what a, lot. a bad kitty. Yeah, but not that much. Uh, Sprite still got more treats in the end. Ten to three. Technically, you could say it was eight to five, but Sprite still won. Because because yeah. Sprite hit the bell and Atari stole the treat. Yeah. What just happened? I agree. It was you. chaos. You. What, chaos what, are, what were you up to? What were you doing? What were you thinking? So it was uh, Sprite by a ton, and the person, <laughs> it's a new strategy, the person who bet 10 points yeah. on Sprite 3 Plus was Erlen! <laughs> oh, Erlen! <laughs> lurking! We, lurking in the background! We found you out! <laughs> Erlen gets all the points. One, there we go. Yo! 1.3 thousand goes to Erlen. Nice. Congratulations, <laughs> Erlen. Good job at predicting that uh, Atari would steal all the treats. <laughs> oh, oh such boy. A, what a bad cat. What a very Atari. bad cat. Taking a completely different uh, strategic approach. Yep. So uh, let me look at the score again of the person who got oh that's so cold can you close it to as much as you can now what did i get eight eight hundred something uh three three hundred oh god but oh. you hit you hit raid what raid 70 67 70 something like that oh gosh we've already forgotten um we have to rewind alan has inside information <laughs> he says i know the secret if i'm here sprite always wins <laughs> uh -huh. oh god that's funny do not go fast. Do not. I shoot. mean, it's a rare event when Atari wins, but it has happened. It has happened. It it's has happened. Oh. Maybe next round. Maybe we should just give them a bit of catnip. I always find Atari does better okay. after a bit of a catnip session. Can I pause? Okay, I have to start this over. Yeah, just start I it over. That's fine. To turn on the audio, I'm trying to I'm struggling, <laughs> and I forgot to switch it back too. There we go. So ah. many bad things. There we go. Let's start over. <laughs> <clears throat> Do it properly. Meow. Oh, I also have to fix my um, Atari 800 XL colors. I think it's going to be something easy because you press oh. down on a certain spot. And it gets better? <clears throat> and it gets better or worse. That's funny. <clears throat> so I think it's just something's touching something or something is loose. And it's just like, yeah, I just have to find that thing. And I have to have it open and then be have it on as well. So I can play around with whatever wires, start poking around with a, a plastic, you know, a spoon. <laughs> no, I have plastic little things uh, in my repair kits. So much, so much fuel. Oh, not that much, actually. It goes down so fast in this game. It does. But it, there's just something about it because the, um, it doesn't really get harder. It's just, no. it's just, you just have to keep your wits about you and not get too relaxed yeah, in a weird way. Yeah, you can't forget about the fuel. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the you fuel and cocky. you can get caught in spots if you're not careful too. Yeah. That's really what gets you. You have to look ahead, stay neutral, don't stay panic. in the middle. I always panic. Don't panic. I do, a, I do, I do. I always panic. panic. I am a panic cat. Scrambling all over the place. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> knocking stuff over. <laughs> oh, God. Self-destructing. Yeah. Yep. One of the cats knocked my Ms. Pac-Man off the speaker. <gasps> oh, no. Not this year's, not last year's game um, event. Uh, but it was uh, the one before that. Because I had all the tabletop games sitting around the room upstairs. <clears throat> and one was on the speaker. And the cat was on the TV. And the cat got scared. Yeah. And scrambled, <laughs> as cats Aww. do. And knocked the Ms. Pac-Man off and oh, chipped the no. corner of it. Oh, no. The Ms. Pac-Man. But it was a clean break. Was it... So it's it's glueable, but it's now it's not Still, perfect. Now it's not perfect. Oh, and no. I buy try to buy only perfect copies or well, very very nice copies. That's that's why those perfect ones go up in value every year. Because <laughs> yeah. they everyone has cats and their cats destroy their stuff. Multi so. <laughs> multiple get destroyed every well, year. I wonder how many get destroyed due to pets. I'm oh, sure it's pets. not. It's pets and small children a lot of the time, but a lot of the people into those games don't have small children anymore, no. so it's almost exclusively pets. I've aged out of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's all the bad dogs and cats yeah, in the world. Yeah. Uh, Has anybody had ooh, pets destroy things? Or well, kids? Well, we had another incident with, I think, I think, Sprite. Oh. Um, do you remember I had found at one of the craft stores... They were selling Christmas ornaments, and they had glass oh. arcade cabinet Christmas ornaments. Yes. A little cheesy looking with, like, yeah. a faux Space Invader Pac-Man on the front of it. But I was like, oh, those are really cool. So I bought two of them because mm -hmm. they were, like, buy two for one. And I had it on our mantle because we didn't put up a tree this year, so I just had them on the mantle. And unfortunately, I'd forgotten that gigantic box of treats. On and the I, mantle. I had left it on the mantle, and overnight... Some cat had Don't tried to jump up on the mantle, <laughs> didn't realize there was a glass Christmas tree ornament. Swipe. And I heard it in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh, someone knocked over something, but it didn't click that it was something breakable. Yeah. <laughs> and I got up the next morning, made my breakfast, drank my coffee, sat on the couch, and I was looking down at the floor, <laughs> and I'm like, why is the floor sparkling? <laughs> Teeny tiny shards of glass all over the floor. And I didn't notice. I'd been walking around, <sighs> fortunately yes. in slippers, yeah. but I didn't realize right away that the floor was covered in shards of glass. Bad. Cat. And then, yeah, I had to clean that up. But, uh, and I'm surprised no one hurt themselves. Yeah. They... You know, we could have had another hospital oh, visit. Oh, bleeding. Someone cat had been paws. like, Cutting their paws or eating dry glass. Oh, eating glass. Oh, God. I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them either, but fortunately no one got hurt. Yeah. Except for the And you ornament. hope you hope that they they learn. They they, they, they learn a lesson. Learn. No. No, no, and not no. unless they get hurt. And yeah. they can make the association immediately. Yeah, that's true. That's the only way that if I put learn. the treats up there, they'd do it again. Let's oh, face yeah. it. Yeah. But Un Unbibium says cats do the most damage when scrambling. Yeah. It's panic. <laughs> it's pure panic. Pure panic. <laughs> well, I think it's a defensive tactic. If if something is attacking you, if a predator is attacking yep. you, run if, like hell. if you dart around and run and you look like they can't predict <laughs> where you're going, right? Yes. Right? right? So it makes sense. It makes sense that you dart around. Unfortunately, you do a lot of damage. In lots a of damage. <laughs> it's lots of damage, and eh? And it's kind of questionable which cat it was because Sprite is, <sighs> Sprite's very good at jumping. But he doesn't jump on counters too much. He's not a. He Atari doesn't jump up jumps high. On He's counters. a floor cat. Yeah. He like yeah. he um, he likes to sit in bowls and he has a little <laughs> fluffy cat bed, a round cat bed, and he likes that. And yeah. he stays kind of on the ground. The bowl is on the coffee table, but yes. He but then Atari's on the, the one who'll jump up on the counter when, when, when we're putting food, food out. And Sprite doesn't do that for some reason. He doesn't no, really... I don't know why. I don't know why either. He does get on the kitchen counter from time to time. He does. Not often. No. Usually when we're not looking. Anyway, I think it was Sprite. I think it was Sprite too. <laughs> I do because he, he, he just, he's young and dumb. Yeah. And, and he probably just went, well, you know. Yeah, treats. I'll try. <laughs> Might as well try. I feel like Atari is less likely yeah, to do that. Like, eh, not worth the effort. We just got a robot vacuum. 
Yes. It's hilarious how the two cats kind of deal with the vacuum differently. Yes. Atari is still fairly scared of it. He's always hated vacuum. He absolutely no terrified. Reason. No reason whatsoever. No, he's never been harmed by a vacuum from what I remember. But um, he hates vacuums. He hates the noise. And when the, the little robot vacuum starts up... Which is he, not so loud. I would say he keeps a good six feet oh. away from it at all oh, times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he'll jump up high and he'll just watch it. When he walks by, even when it's not running, he kind of side-eyes it as he goes by. Like, are you going to come after me? Sprite, you said the other day, Sprite, basically Sprite sat right in front of the robot vacuum and the robot vacuum ran into him. Yep. Yep. Oh. He could care less. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> it's not, not a threat. And and when it starts up, he's genuinely fascinated by it. Yep. And he'll he'll just kind of like he'll be like a foot away from it. Because he, he knows it doesn't really go after him, it kinda wanders around. And it's right? not fast. It no. doesn't like suddenly move fast. So it's not super loud. It's oh, like, it's, it's like kinda so loud, funny. But, but yeah. he, he he's just like whatever. <laughs> I can take it. <laughs> yeah. I'll I take him. I can take him. <laughs> I could smack that vacuum. Yeah. It's just very funny. They have very different emotional reactions. Even to the though they see vacuum. each other deal with deal with it, one like Atari's like, nope. I Terrified. don't care what no. you do. I'm staying away. Yeah, he's just like, no, it's not worth it. I'm not taking the risk. This guy uh, takes all the risks. All the risks. Don't you? Yeah, yes. He's a bit braver, except when it comes to humans. New, yes. new people in the house, he will hide the whole time. Yeah. Tar's like, hi, hi. Yeah, give me love. But for vacuums, he's like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> he has a, a, a definite Which... fear of technology. Atari. Atari, yeah. Sprite is more fearful about people. Yeah. Which is the smart thing. <laughs> because I technology so. can't get you. Well, it could. It could, but they just they just have different fears. Yeah. Isn't that true? Yeah. Anyway, I don't know for the few people following us today, yeah, if they have day. any good cat stories, cat damage, cat, cat destruction da Ugh. stories cat they want to share. Sprite hasn't learned to not announce himself when he's trying to reach the shelf above you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he just does it. And you're like, what are you doing? Bad cats Hasn't everywhere. learned to not announce. Yeah, no, he makes a lot of noise. Yeah, he's he's he does an, he two. does announce himself, and he'll go into rooms by himself and start crying. Mow, mow. And then we'll say Sprite, and he'll go, "Oh my God, you're in here!" <laughs> he'll, come he'll come trotting in, in all like Hi. tail up. Hi. We're like, why did you go into that other room to cry? You're very funny. Cats do that. I it's, know. it's a known thing, and I don't really don't... understand why. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense why they do that. Uh, what if what does experts say about that? I can't remember. Like they're they're crying, crying for you? Well they're lonely. I've heard but something that, that if they go into sense. a room and cry they're lonely, but sometimes well they have very, very probably very short term <laughs> memories, right? Nobody's in here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I walked into like, this room by myself and no one's in, in here. We're we're in we, within view. <laughs> Like, I've seen them cry just in the other room, and I can see them yeah. here crying. Like, what are you doing, you silly cat? Hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey! What's hey, he doing? Hey, hey, Water? Hey, hey. No, no, you, you're all being trouble today. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, he once knocked over water onto my computer during a broadcast. Oh. Luckily did not do anything. No. Oh. Atari. Atari or Sprite? No, Atari. Atari. See, he keeps going for it. Yeah. No, no. Both of you are bad, bad cats. Bad cats. Very cute, <laughs> but bad. That's why we forgive you, because you're super cute. Yeah. I had one cat who would try to eat plants. One Christmas, oh. I had a small fiber optic tree. Oh, no. Thinking she wouldn't disturb that, but then I came home once and found bits of the tree all over the oh, floor. Cats. Yeah, they do like plants. We had a... We had a our uh, Rogue, who was my cat before Pixel, Pixel you and Atari, never you've never met Rogue, um, ended up with kidney failure because she ate Lilies. lily leaves from a, from a, um, I, which I didn't even know ah. was severely toxic to cats. Like some plants are toxic and it'll make them sick. Oh, I'm going to die. But it causes like instantaneous liver, liver, <sighs> kidney failure. Just enough 
Oh, thank goodness. And uh, yeah, you have to be really yeah. careful with cats around plants. You have to look up plants before you bring them in the house. Yeah. There's some. There's tons of bad plants. They're bad plants, but there's a big difference between this will make a cat sick and yes. immediate organ failure. Yes. And I had no idea lilies were that Lily bad. Lily is immediate organ failure, depending on how much they 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 consume. Ingest. And they only need to consume a few bites of a leaf, which yeah. is insane. It's and crazy. lilies are super popular. Yeah. In Easter, Christmas, lots of holidays. They're Easter really, especially. They're really nice looking. And they, they, they end up in a lot of like... Um, Bouquets. Bouquets of flowers and things too. Arrangements. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Yes. No kittens. lilies in this house. Never, never again. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, my fuel. Oh, your my fuel went. I died? Yeah. I gotta watch that. Because I think if you speed up, your fuel doesn't decrease. As quickly? Well, it decreases the same rate. The same rate. Um, so. We had a cat, Rogue. Uh, who was a wonderful cat, very friendly, and my mom had, this is years ago, had like a party at her house. Not Rogue. You said Rogue. Rogue, sorry. Um, Smudge. Uh, a, an older, older cat from one, from my childhood. He was really, 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 really fluffy, long-haired cat. We thought he might be part Maine Coon. Um, and um, he jumped up onto a dining table that had food on it and uh, two candles... Sweet. And his tail caught on fire in this in the middle of a room of like twenty people, <laughs> well, <at laughs> and least, we all went ah! Everyone screamed. At least that's when it happened. And and the tail and it, the fluff on his tail went like that, like it just <laughs> dis <laughs> disintegrated. He didn't even notice. <laughs> we're all screaming at him, and he's looking at it's us like, like we're guys, the problem. Like like why are you, boy, why are you why are you yelling at me? <laughs> he didn't feel it because it just burned the singed the the right. edge off of it but it went up in a puff of flame and smoke hair burns fast oh my goodness it was pretty funny and he he was Fine. he had no clue he had no clue yeah they're so funny no, oh no my fuel. Gotta go yeah fast. it's not hard for me to avoid exposing the cats to plants i have a black thumb so i don't keep them around <laughs> black thumb. yeah nostalgic i am also not good with plants only the strong survive only in this house <laughs> Survival of the fittest in my home. We have two plants. Um, I found these wonderful little indicators on Amazon. Oh, they've made a They're, world oh of difference. Oh my goodness, because I have a tendency to overwater. I think, oh, I haven't watered them in a while mm. and I'll forget. I'll overwater them and they'll immediately die. <laughs> or underwater um, them. Mostly overwater. No, it's usually overwater. That's um, how most plants die. I think so. And so I found these little plastic sticks and they have like, I don't know, like um a string and an indicator on them and yeah, moisture indicator and you just stick them in the plant and they're blue as long as there's enough moisture and when they dry out they go white so you just kind of water them when it when the indicator turns white and now i i actually am able to keep plants alive because <laughs> <Hooray. laughs> i haven't been killing them all with water Hooray. but yeah, we, have two. we have two plants they were on the verge of death both of them yeah like just That's one leaf then one leaf doing bad that's yeah. all that was left. And now they're they're huge. They're thriving. They're doing much better now. <laughs> oh, the fuel's on the other side. But I have family members who are amazing with plants. Oh, your mother. My mother is like her house is still alive? full of indoor plants After that have 10 been years? that have existed my entire life. <laughs> I killed them within a year. And then my dad's a huge gardener. I yeah. I inherited none of that green thumb at I all. That's uh, learned, not in inherited. Well, I think it, yeah. yeah, it is learned. It is learned. I'm just no good with plants. <laughs> Me neither. No. Usually, no, you had a lot of plants when I first met you. You had a house full of. You had an apartment well, full of plants, those, and then those I are killed the strong ones. all of James's plants. Those were the strong. Plants. Those were the strong, but not strong enough they, to survive me. They were snake plants, and uh, they were ferns. Or the spider plants. Spider plants. Oh, they're so hearty. They don't care. They'll and take yet, anything. I, I still, no water. Lots of water. Actually, I don't think I did kill they them. I think we got rid of a lot of them after our cat got sick. Oh yes, because we gone. looked any any of the plants that had any toxicity, we got out of the house, and I think we ended up getting rid of a few of them. So yeah, oh, yeah. but um, if you uh, uh, oh, much better side. Oh, maybe about the same. Oh yes, thank you for the fuel. Oh, so much fuel, just perfect. So much fuel. Nice. That's what I needed. I do like the noise. That noise? 
Yeah. Yeah. Fueling noise. Yeah. Yeah. It's very distinct. You mm -hmm. know when you're getting fuel. Almost. Oh. Last life. No, oh, that's not how you do it. <laughs> Don't shoot fuel. I once had a spider plant at the office. I managed to take such poor care of it that it didn't grow or spawn anything. Oh. Yeah, I'm oh, very yeah, interesting. I'm not the greatest at keeping plants alive. A year, year most. <laughs> a year. Yeah, that's usually my maximum. Now you have a uh, hydroponic growth system. We did get one of those arrow gardens. It automatically waters, I automatic got one. lights. Yeah. There's I just need it to attached do. to a robot, and then I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, oh God. no! I've got lots of. Hair, so. Um. No, I wanted to get one because I do. I do usually have basil plants, and those only last a year because they're um, annuals. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. That's excusable. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting an arrow garden, and they were really popular about I don't know ten years ago or something, but maybe <laughs> less than that. Um. But I do like having herbs, and they have herb pods, so we're going to see how those go. Maybe I can keep those alive for Only a while. Only one didn't make it, so it was pretty good. One herb pod didn't, one didn't out of six. Uh, sprout, but... One out of seven? One, one, out, of six. one out of six, yeah. Six. Not yeah. bad, not bad. Yeah. It's pretty Dressed nice. Well. I like them, yeah. All my Christmas presents <laughs> doing well. <laughs> good. <laughs> and the robot, which was... Oh, no! 70. 70? 356? I don't know. That was pretty good. Yeah, let's let's just confirm. Take stock. Yeah, I doubled, pretty much doubled the second place, current second place. Good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Because the next place is a million, three times as long as that game. So Weirdly, I'm, I feel like that's fine. I'm it, second it's place. It's doable. I'm fine. You just have to be in the right headspace the whole way through. Usually in these competitions, yeah, I'm, I'm in top three. Okay. Usually, yeah. Unless, that unless well there's done. some really good players. I mean, hardly anybody has entered this yet because there's still a week to go. Mm. Um, I don't know if you want to do one more, or you're happy with well, your. I'm happy. 100, I did hundred thousand. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy with that. Good. Yeah, kitties. Are you happy are with you your? Are you happy with your no. treats? No, I feel like you need another treat time. <laughs> Let's do really. We'd have to manually do it. Oh, really? Thank you, RC70. I'll have to check my other score. I don't know if that's. Lower or higher is around three hundred thousand. Yeah, right, still. That's pretty decent. Yep. So it was just that today. Um, we we're just jumping on quick to uh, put in some scores for that. Uh, let's just see what's coming up on the show. Da -da. Oh, no, I want it big. There we go. <laughs> uh, so we did that rating rivers. Patch attempt number two. I don't know if I got the patch. I'm in second well, place. Yeah, we'll see. If he see. makes more than one, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next show, we definitely are going to be playing the Lynx Jam 2023 games. Mm -hmm. I think there's like 10 games, but they're very, very simple games because they had like a couple weeks to make them. Um, there's some really good ones in there and some that are just kind of started. It's like the idea of the game because you have to start from scratch and um, you only have so much time. So. Mm -hmm. And then an Atari 8-bit day with Dude Story, which looks awesome. Lady Tut looks awesome. Vexed, I can't really remember what that one's about, but it's good as well. And then we're probably going to do a 2600 day with Fly Hunter and a couple more. Fly Hunter is very like uh, Mr. Yo-Yo. Mm, okay. But, I like, yeah. but a little bit different. Okay. Okay. Um, and of course, the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards nominee reveals Ooh, the votes are now coming in. Oh, good. From uh, the nomination You're tallying, committee. Tallying. Well, not enough to tally yet. Oh, but okay. They're, I'd be telling one person. In oh, the okay. <laughs> but enough. they are coming in because okay, it's good. only been a week, and there's three good. weeks. Three to go weeks. Through. Okay, there's a lot of time. Yeah. And uh, that's when the voting starts. So I have to get that ready. I have to get a bunch of graphics ready. I have to get. Uh, start on the video for the actual show, like the background that's going to go on the green screen, the presentation mm -hmm. videos, and up to the point where um, once the nom I know the nominees, I can put in the nominee videos and stuff. Um, so we can show those uh, on the 6th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards live presentations, February 24th. 
and I've uh, put some more stuff in here. We're going to be doing the Atari 7800 40th anniversary classic gaming countdown, which is going to be playing all the 7800 games. Ooh. Now it's going to be fun because there's that a is. lot of arcade conversions nice. in the 7800 li library. Mm -hmm. Now there's a bit of a controversy, but I'm going to go with 2024 on okay. the launch date of the 7800 because they technically launched the 7800 in limited areas in Prior? 1984. Okay. But then they they stopped putting them out mm -hmm. because the company, Atari, changed hands at that point. Mm. And then they made the official launch two years later. Wow, two years. When these games were way outdated. Oh, no. So you could tell that 84 was the actual launch date. Even then, it was kind of uh, borderline, but they'd still probably do okay. Yeah. Um, these launch titles. Um, so it only it'll only take three days because there's only um, fifty nine games mm. in the original uh, launch launch of, of the seventy eight hundred. Okay, I always love these these retrospectives. It's great because you always find games you you've never played or yes. didn't know existed, and exactly. and it's very interesting. So we've done twenty six hundred. Yes, we've done Jaguar. Yes, now we're going to do seventy eight hundred. Cool. Yeah. At some point, we're going to do Lynx. We're going to do 5,200. So there is going to come a time when I'm going to be able to say I have played every game on every, every Atari console. Every single Atari game. Well, I, I guess Original I can. Run. You can, because I haven't necessarily been at every single one on every single one of those episodes, have I? And sometimes you played them and I didn't. Sometimes I played them and you true, didn't. True, true. So it was like, well, we've we seen went them back all, and so. forth, didn't we? Yeah. Was there a show we've that seen you them. didn't... They're usually well, after Darcy dark. or were they? Yeah, always? Darcy did do some. I some think of the those. Jaguar were actual shows. Oh yes, because the twenty six hundred were after darks. I think I can't remember now how we did it, but no, they were all after darks. Yeah, all these shows because all they're not they're not scheduled. Okay. They're not they're not. I thought brew. I thought the 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 Jaguar ones we did during some of the actual shows. Maybe, but they're they're uh, I classify them as after darks. Yeah, because they're not proper. What are you looking for, buddy? Thank you, Dan. Yeah, thanks. It was a fun uh, a fun game. I always like doing the uh, high score challenges or patch challenges or trying to play to the end. And there are more coming up, and I have more time to do that now. Mm. Um, leading up to the Atari Homebrew Awards. And some other ones coming up. Uh, Attack of the Petsky Robots. So we'll be mm -hmm. doing that one. I don't know which one I'll do first. Um, oh, I really want to play Robot Zed <laughs> and beat that one. I, I can definitely do that in one session. Robot in the Zed. next session. Mm -hmm. um, that one is hard. <laughs> I've made two attempts or three attempts. This will be oh, the fourth yeah. attempt. Uh, Load Runner is just a continuation. Yes. Yeah. Um, Attack of the Petsky Robots is going to be level by level as well, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and these robo robics and uh, Ridiculous Reality, those are just continuation level by level. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a whole bunch that I've played many times mm -hmm. <laughs> that I haven't been able to figure uh, finish. Hunchy 2 is hard. Stay Frosty 2 is... Hey! Hey! No! <laughs> <laughs> Stay Frosty 2 is hard. Reindeer Rescue, we tried that recently. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, Deep Stone Catacomb. Ooh, got to play that again. Mm. Level two. I think we. I almost finished level two. I think I got very near to the end and and died. Mm. Um. Get lost. That's one that needs to be finished. I think Propane made that one. Mm. And there's a yellow screen bug. But now I have two alternative things to play it on. Oh, okay. I have the 7800 GD, and I have the Dragonfly cart, but because before I was using Concerto. Okay, and okay. Those might not do a yellow screen of oh, death. Good. Because Get Lost is so cool. It's, remember? Do you remember that one? It's the open world where you're jumping around. There's under underground caverns. It's very, very detailed for the 7800. There's like dragons that breathe fire horizontally. I think so. It, it we played it a long time ago. Yeah. And because we because it hasn't been fixed. Oh, we didn't go back to it. We yeah. didn't go back that to it because it was it would just crash again and mm. we'd just be frustrated. I gotta get a Commander X sixteen. Oh, you got one. Yeah, RC seven E. How many games are there for the? Um, let me just look Commander that up. Commander X sixteen. Yeah, 
Because uh, obviously there is um, Attack of the Petsky Robots. All of Dave Murray's games yeah. have been ported to the Commander X-16, I believe. Um, and he's made some other simple games for it to show his tutorials for uh, development. And it's Commodore 64 adjacent. You, you've seen videos on the Commander Oh, X16, yes. Yeah. Right? Recently, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Because he just announced something about it. Uh, downloads. Let's see. Official software games. Okay. Let's see how organized this is. So Petsky Robots, Planet X-16. Oh, Mini Ski, Snake, uh, Hangman, Train Yard, Doomed Pac-Man, <laughs> uh, Munch Mania. Oh, there's, mm. there's a fair, a decent amount of games. Okay. Yeah. And it also works as a Commodore 64, too, with di Which is digital cool. output. Does nice. it have HDMI output? I think it does. I know it has VGA output. That's cool. Um, expert. Expert. There you go. There's one for you. Mm. <laughs> Wordle, Tetris, Pong, Lunar Lander, I'm guessing, yeah. Crazy Lander. Crazy Boulders. Crazy Boulders. <laughs> uh, I know what that one is. VGA and Composite, says RC70. Oh, no digital out. Mm. Okay. Well, VGA is very, very, very good mm. quality. Um, Cat Ballerina says, I have a lovely gray cat as well, but oh. mine's a floof. Oh, so at this time floofs. of year, as wide as he is long. <laughs> He's a round ball of floof. It's winter. Poof. Yeah. I love <laughs> the floof. It feels like Angora, but I'm allergic, so it's yeah. Oh no. No, no. Yeah, oh. you gotta gotta take those that, um antihistamines. That, that cat Arena. Is that where your name comes from? Because you you own a cat ball? <laughs> <laughs> Just a ball of cat. A ball of cat. Do you have to take anything? Antihistamines for some yeah, some people do. Yeah. 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 They uh they sacrifice a lot too. Our floofy one is Sprite, but he's more of a medium hair. He's not, he's not really that thick, fluffy like um, one of my old my old cat Smudge was a very very densely fluffy cat, and yeah. my sister has two, um, uh, what do you call them, rag dolls, and they're like, poofs. they're massive. And Pixel would be a long medium hair. He's a medium. He's a medium yeah. hair. And he was. A, they were. They were both medium hairs. And Rogue was a little fluffier, but still, still, cons not still, long. still medium hair cats. They were all rescues, so they weren't. Um, purebred cats it's usually the right. purebred cats that are really 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 fluffy because right. it's not an advent advantageous to have super long hair well, well it would be winter. if it's cold if you're a Maine Coon yeah. definitely I've, I've gone through I, I've just gone with exposure therapy oh that's good sometimes works yeah don't um, have bad reactions oh good yeah. yeah my mom my mom did uh had a lot of allergies and had um the shots to right. for exposure and that actually helped her a lot but mm. Depends on the the allergy too. I think it's like you're allergic to something. Have more. Or yeah, I think it, it does work. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Your body it did help, but because the, they expose tiny bits, and your body goes, I can handle that. Yeah, and a little bit more, and like, okay, I can handle that. Yeah. Then, then you build it up, so that that works. Um. So that's it for today. We will be back on Tuesday with some Lynx games. I'm gonna try and fix the color a bit. Okay. Um. Because there's some. Some issues. Not massive color issues, but some of the developers were like, that's not right. <laughs> and it was a bit um, overexposed and underexposed. I don't know if I can fix that, but mm -hmm. I can play with play with some of the settings because the RetroTink has a, a number of settings I can play with. Yeah. I love cats. Wait a minute. Way too much to give up over allergies. They yeah. chose me, though, as cats. Oh, they do. Oh, they do choose yeah, you. Because that's the good way of, of having a, a cat companion. Yeah. Is you go, hey, do you like me? Yeah. Because, you know, if they don't, yeah. you're in for no, a bad time. Yeah. Not a good time. Yeah. These two, um, uh, Atari, who was called Philip back oh, when we terrible. got him. <laughs> <laughs> Philip. Almost jumped, jumped into my arms. When I walked into the oh. room, he was being, he was, he was in at uh, the SPCA. He's the cuddliest of cats. He was like, meow. And he was like almost on me. And I said, I think we have to take him home. Yep. I, I'm pretty sure he, he basically said, you, you. you're my owner. <laughs> you have to take yep. me home. And this guy, we took a chance kind of on him. Well, he was quite young. He was very young. He had a friend. That he that he was playing with when we met him. Yeah. And he was completely preoccupied with the other cat. Yeah. And we're like, I don't know. And he was very scared. Like 
you put your hand or you get close to him and he's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> um, but he he's come around and we've shown that you don't have to fear the hands, don't have no. to fear us. Uh, he's still a little jumpy, tiniest bit jumpy, a little bit more Tanya than me. Cause uh, I get says, right in, in his face and he's she's, like, she's get like, away. Hugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't like faces near his face. No. That's his thing. If you We're... get close to him, he'll freak out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to you. Did some human try to like eat you? I don't know. Oh. Yep, chewing your yeah. But soft he's ears. he's generally pretty. He's he's been very good with yeah. people. Yeah, so you let him come he's to you. He's very gentle. Oh, he's so gentle. Yeah, he doesn't have a mean bone in his body. No, he doesn't. Atari did pick good. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we're out of here. Um, yeah. Have uh, a good rest of the day, evening, yeah. rest morning. Rest of the weekend. Yeah. It's that much if you longer. Have, if you have weekend left. And uh, we will see you on Tuesday for yeah. some more homebrew gaming. Uh, Bob, oh, we have to say people's names. Oh, Thank yes. Thank you for hanging Almost out forgot. with us. Yeah. Cat Ballerina, RC7E, Dan ABC, Nostalgic. Uh, Unbibium. Unbibium. Oh, that's a name I haven't seen in a while. And Erlen. Erlen. Hey, thanks for joining. <laughs> Thanks for watching, <laughs> or at least putting us on the background. Um, uh, Atari 800 XL rules. Yeah. Retro gamer. 1975. 1975. Thrust. Thrust. Thomas ABD official. I've been seeing your name more and more. Kabuto Kenzo, Crunchy the Clown, and everybody else who was lurking. Yay! Thank Hail you. Me. Yay! Great show. <laughs> we'll see you not this Friday, but the Friday after. Um, and uh, that's it. So we'll see you on Tuesday with more of her and more of those guys. These guys. So uh, see you then. Yeah. Bye-bye.